Today's Most Buffalo Story of the Day takes us to Lewiston for just a few minutes with Mike Rona of Rona's House of Violence. I like working here very much. Uh, I like watching the change of seasons, the weather, the, the hawks, the ver all the, the things that come across. Music makers from <laughs> beginners to pro know when it comes to finding a world-class instrument or needing someone to make an expert repair, Mike is the man. My story starts at Gate Circle on a cold January morning around 6 a.m. January 24th. Mike is a violin maker like his father before him. He is a craftsman and he loves music. I love music passionately and I will probably also, uh, compared to anybody I know, in a single day I've listened to more forms of music. Most people they find one thing and they're just stuck in it. I, I find that's like going to an art gallery and looking at the same picture all day. Uh, I, I'll, I'll listen to classical, I'll listen to blues, I'll listen to jazz, I'll listen to reggae, I'll listen to funk, I'll listen to, you know, all these different things. One thing he is not, a violinist. I was at best an average violinist. He's leaving that today to David Adamchek, who will be performing, by the way, for Buffalo's Big Dingus Day celebration. Whether you know a thing about the violin or not, you can't help but admire Mike's work. Even more stunning is his passion, his stories, his reverence for those who came before, and his eagerness to build a bit of rest into his days. The violin makers are, are sworn to die at the bench. <laughs> I've reached a point in life where I, I used to be here uh, every, you know, six days a week, whatever. I've reached a point in life where I'm taking far more liberties, stepping away from the bench. After a lifetime of making the things that make beautiful music, a chance to enjoy other beautiful things as well. From Rona's Violins in Lewiston, this is Kate Wellshofer. Be well, stay well. We'll see you next time.